Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS digital interview experience. This interview happened recently only, that is on 3rd July 2024. So make sure that that you are watching this video till the end because a lot of coding questions were also asked in this particular interview. So do not miss any part of this interview and make sure that you are uh, in this video till the end of it. Okay, and guys, from past one month, I am regularly making videos regarding TCS and QT. I have made uh, in, uh, videos regarding interview experiences like and regarding important interview subjects also and also in latest videos I have covered the uh, latest information about TCS that which, which, uh, which all mail they are sending and what are their in hand salaries also so for all these type of videos uh, I will continue to make them but make sure that you are present on this channel and are hitting that subscribe button okay and also I have launched uh, TCS important interview subject notes also that I will be discussing in later part of this video. So let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so the first question was, as you all know, will be introduce myself. So in this particular question, you can talk about your education background, your skills, your extracurricular activities, your projects, your in internships, your achievements and uh, any other thing that you have done. So anything you can mention here. So this answer should be around one to one and a half minute and it should always cover your important uh your uh what i will say your strengths okay like all the topics related to your strengths you should try to say in the introduce myself so i hope this question is clear to you moving to the next question was yes so there were three coding questions which were asked from this candidate okay so they gave him a piece of paper and they told him to write the logic on the piece of paper only so three coding questions were first was the palindrome Okay, so palindrome of a string. So uh, find if the string is palindrome or not. So the palindrome string is that from left to right, uh, the string when we read, it is same as when we read this string from right to left. Next is triangle printing pattern. Okay, the second one is the triangle printing pattern. So this this triangle printing pattern, uh, I have shared in previous videos also like around this was as around the third or fourth interview experience that I'm covering. It's a very important question and it's very easy also. So make sure that you prepare these questions very well. Okay, moving ahead was the count vowel method or oh, count vowel question. So if there was an input string that is given to you, in that you will have to count the vowels. So vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So in code bashers, there are vowels as four. So you will have to print the number of vowels that are present in this particular string. So these are the three coding questions that were asked in this particular interview and most of the time went in these three coding questions only. So many of you were asking me, sir, that we are preparing for ninja or digital or prime. So in all the three uh, roles, these coding questions are very important in specifically if specific, especially in digital and prime role. So do prepare them very well. Okay. And if you don't know where to prepare the coding questions, so what I have done, I have formed the TCS important interview subject notes, wherein total 13 subjects I have covered. So there is C++ PDF, there is Java PDF, there is Python. Similarly, there is, there is SQL also, there are coding questions also. So in, in each of these PDFs, what I have done, I have researched about the uh, ninja and data and prime role interview experiences. Okay. So these PDFs are specifically designed for the preparation of TCS ninja, data and prime role to make these PDFs actual interview questions are considered. So what I have done, I have curated a list of commonly asked C++ questions in TCS and I have placed it in C++ uh, uh, PDF. And similarly for coding questions also, I have analyzed many of the coding questions which are very commonly getting asked in the TCS interviews. So I'm, I have clubbed them and I have placed in, in the coding questions PDF. So though these 13 or 12 to 13 PDFs uh, are available to you at a cost of 99 rupees. It's not much, it's a nominal cost. So all the buy links are in the description box. These PDFs, can, uh, these PDFs will help you in your revising the concepts in and in the last minute preparation. So if you're interested in this particular PDF, Okay, so all these PDFs, then the buy link is are in the description box and it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99. So I hope this thing is clear. So let's move ahead. Okay. Next is, uh, they asked me the SQL query top nth element in the table. Okay, so again, it's a very commonly asked query and also present in my notes also. So you can check out from there. Next is, what is the difference between runtime and compile time polymorphism? Okay, so runtime, uh, the example of runtime polymorphism is... Uh, method overriding and uh, the example of compile time polymorphism is method overloading okay so runtime time happen in runtime and compile time so it is also known as late binding runtime is also known as late binding and compile time is also known as early binding so yeah these are the differences okay 
Next is what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding? So yeah, so uh, you can answer this particular question in this answer only. That difference between runtime and compile time polymorphism is similar to method overloading and method overriding only. So I hope this thing is clear to you. Next is what is the difference between primary key and unique key? There is just one difference between primary key and unique key is that that unique key can be null but primary key cannot be null. Okay. So I hope this question is clear to you. And if you are finding this video informative till here, so do hit that like and subscribe button if you have not hit that uh, as of now. Okay. So do hit that like button because every like motivates us to make more such videos. Moving ahead, explain the acid properties in DBMS. So acid means atomicity, C means consistency, I means isolation and D means durability. So it's again a very commonly asked database question in the interview and again this the DBMS part is also uh, available. I have like also uh, made DBMS PDF also in which I have placed all the commonly asked DBMS questions. Okay. So if you will notice that in my videos lot of the questions, uh, lot of the questions that are getting asked are already given the question and answer in these PDFs only. Again, the by links are in the decision box as you wish. Okay. Moving. Uh, so these are all the technical questions. One more technical questions are also there, but what are triggers in database? So if you do any operation on a table, then a trigger can be assigned to that table that and there can be a specific role for trigger that what it should do. So I hope this thing is clear to you. So yeah, so these are all the technical questions which were asked from this uh, candidate and maximum time was gone in these uh, coding questions. Okay. So these were the three coding questions. Do prepare them for the interview. They are very much important specifically for the prime and digital code. Okay. Now moving towards the HR and MR questions. Okay. So relocation. So are you comfortable in relocation? Always say yes. Are you comfortable in all the shifts? Always say yes. How you are a team player. So this candidate has written the team player in his resume. So he had to explain a real life condition where he has uh, performed any team player activity. Okay. Next is where are you from? What do your parents do? What are your hobbies? How was the technical interview? Okay. And next question is very important. If we offer you Ninja instead of digital, what you will do? So many of the question, many of you were asking me in the comment section that they are getting asked this question. Okay. So in this particular question, you can simply say that I have, I have digital level skills. I have prepared very well for digital. So I have tried my best to clear this particular interview as it was a digital interview. But if you feel so that I am, comp I am like uh, uh, capable of ninja then you can give me ninja I will be happy to take it okay so all these things you can tell to the interviewer but always like try to give the positive answer answer of every question that will be a very important uh, thing so I hope these all questions are clear to you and if you have any queries any doubts you can always write in the comment section I will be happy to help and you can also join our telegram group also the links are in the description box okay so guys this was all for this video please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and the no buy if you want to buy these notes the links are in the description box you can check them out thank you for watching this video